Let's have a look at the circulatory system in humans. This is responsible for carrying blood throughout the entire body. Circulatory system. What are its functions and what are the organs responsible for circulation? We will have a look at all of that. The heart, which is a major component responsible for pumping blood. The arteries, which are responsible for carrying blood to the different parts of the body, whereas the veins are responsible for carrying the blood back to the heart, not to mention the capillaries that are connections between arteries and veins and responsible for the distribution of blood. Transportation system in the human body is made up of different organs that work together to supply blood. Blood carries elements such as oxygen, digested food material, and other chemicals like hormones. It also takes away waste products, which are basically excretory products like carbon dioxide and urea that are produced in the body cells. This transport system is called the circulatory system. Apart from this system, there is yet another uh, responsible system for the transport of materials called the lymphatic system and is made up of a substance called lymph. Circulatory system comprises of the heart, which is responsible for pumping and receiving blood, and the three blood vessels that carry and receive blood back and forth, namely the arteries, veins, and capillaries. Have a look at the diagram of transportation here. We take a look at the circulatory system and the lymphatic system which are both responsible for transportation. The circulatory system, the main organ is the heart, which helps to pump the blood and is carried by the arteries, veins, and capillaries. In the lymphatic system, we have the capillaries, vessels, and glands, and lymph, which are also responsible for transportation. The circulatory system, as we stated, and we know what they comprise of. The heart acts as a pump, pumping blood into the arteries, veins, and capillaries, which act as pipes or tubes for carrying the blood. These pipes or tubes are called blood vessels. The heart is somewhat triangular in shape and about the size of a fist. Its musculature in nature is made up of special cells called the cardiac muscle. It has four components called the chambers. The upper two chambers are called auricles or atria or atrium and the lower two chambers are called ventricles. The atria receive blood from the two main veins whereas the ventricles transport the blood to the entire body, of the body and the lungs. The chambers are separated by a partition called a septum. If you have a look at the diagram of a heart, you will notice that the right atrium is connected to the right ventricle through a valve. Similarly, the left atrium is connected to the left ventricle. This is to prevent the backflow of blood from the ventricle into the atrium. So if too much blood pressure builds up within the heart, then the valve will open. Otherwise, it remains closed so blood does not flow back. The atria and ventricle both contract and relax, meaning expand, at appropriate times when the heart pumps the blood. Ventricles have thicker walls as they have to pump the blood with high pressure to the parts of the body. Let's take a look at the three blood vessels. The arteries, these are thick walls. They are thick-walled because they have to carry blood to the different parts of the body. The blood that's transported is under high pressure and when it comes from the heart, the arteries have to withstand the pressure. The main artery is called the iota and is connected to the left ventricle. It carries oxygenated blood away from the heart. Another artery called the pulmonary artery is connected to the right ventricle and it carries deoxygenated blood from the body to the lungs. The veins are thin-walled and carry blood from the parts of the body back to the heart. 
Veins have valves in them that allow the blood to flow only in one direction, that is towards the heart. The pulmonary vein is connected to the right atrium of the heart and carries oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart. The main vein, called the vena cava, carries deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body except the lungs back to the heart. The capillaries are thin-walled and narrow tubes of vessels. They form a network spreading all over the body and are connected to each and every cell in the body. They connect arteries to veins and are responsible for the transport and exchange of various materials to the parts of the body and from parts of the body. I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arinjacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Orange Jane Academy. Thank you.